Okay. See how does the pricing process comes automatically? First, in the defined schema group, uh, we yeah. uh, create one schema group vendor zero one as a domestic vendor, yeah. and uh, yeah. purchasing organization we create uh, one that is triple zero one. Okay, and uh, then we assign our schema group vendor to our purchasing organization. Schema group purchasing organization one thousand. We assign the for our purchasing organization one thousand. I have assigned triple zero one. Schema group purchasing organization. Now I will yeah, yeah. be back and then define schema determination. Go to the step defines calculation schema. Here what will you have? You should yeah. have an entry for schema group triple zero one and uh, schema group vendor zero one. We should assign one pricing procedure. Okay. Positive, yeah. Now then what will we do? We go to the vendor. The vendor uh, maybe. The, any vendor and in vendor the purchasing data schema group vendor zero one we assign the schema group vendor what we have done uh, our purchasing organization one thousand is assigned to triple zero one schema group purchasing organization and the schema group vendor zero one is assigned to the vendor master now when it comes to uh, schema determination what we have done for the combination of schema group Purchasing organization triple zero one and schema group vendor zero one. For these two combination, we have assigned the pricing procedure DM four zeros. Now, if you go to the PO and if you create, if you create a PO for the vendor agency zero three and uh, in organization data, give purchasing organization one thousand and give a material. Okay. Now go to conditions. And if you want to see which pricing procedure, you cannot see in the home screen, right? You go to analysis, analysis. then you can see the pricing procedure. How does DM triple four zeros was assigned? You have to tell if in entry or you are asking the question like how a pricing procedure DM four zeros has come, like how pricing procedure comes automatically to the purchase order. You need to address. We create a schema group vendor for each pricing procedure. In this case, the domestic, I create a zero one. For example, I create a one schema group vendor for domestic pricing procedure, and I create one domestic. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I create one schema group purchasing organization that I will assign to my purchasing organization one thousand. Okay, you don't have to mention that one thousand and all. Then in the schema group determination, we will have an entry for schema group purchasing organization and schema group vendor. For that combination, we will assign a pricing procedure in the configuration. This is the step. Okay, for the combination of uh, schema group purchasing organization and schema group vendor, we assign the pricing procedure. Then, in the vendor master, I assign the schema group vendor to my vendor master. Then, when I create a purchase order for my purchasing organization with the vendor for which I have done the setup. The pricing procedures come automatically, which I can see in the analysis tab. Okay, this is about the uh, how pricing procedure is getting determined automatically. See, uh, when it comes to uh, pricing process come automatically, but uh, when PB00 comes, when PB00 won't come. That example, first if you go to the line item one, see PB00 80 euros has come automatically because I have an info record. You can see here. I have an info record where I maintain the 80 euros. That's why it has come automatically. But uh, when it comes to the item two, I don't have any info record or condition record. See this info record, a contract, nothing is available. That's why system has asked me to enter the price manually, and I have given the price. That's why my condition is PBXX. You have to understand whenever you give price manually in the PO, it's a PBXX. If it comes from contract or uh, Info record or a, what you call uh, any condition record and all, then it will be PB double zero. Like that, uh, in the pricing procedure, we can uh, do uh, certain things. Like for example, if you take a purchase order and if you go there, and you can give some uh, entry entries like uh, how go to here, click on plus symbol. And go there and uh, give some freight, huh? freight percentage, freight percentage. Okay, if there any enter any, we cannot enter. Okay, it is a already existing PO. That's the system is not allowing me to enter. 
or you can enter any discount kind of thing okay after giving that uh, yeah. discount of 2 percentage how price is getting deducted huh? and uh, if we add any other things what will happen okay and uh, we'll create one PO now or in the fresh uh, I will try to give some conditions and uh, giving prices and all how does it behave hmm? whether it is as per the requirement or not those kind of practice you have to do now itself uh, otherwise hmm. you won't get uh, that much command like uh, how to do and all see now I'm creating PO uh, with uh, the same vendor and the material 2067 and uh, quantity 100 kc okay now come to conditions okay and uh, give some freight percentage and uh, click on this one and give some discount okay, discount percentage on cross ra01 and uh, give some uh, any other values like surcharges and uh, give any insurance kind of things if you have such as this and right confirm a price across those are enough for, for now okay if we have any other things variant percentage okay that's enough or if you have any other things you just give it here and come here and uh, try to give the prices see how a discount and surcharges have come to the before net price because in the, our pricing processor we have designed in that sequence if you go to analysis uh, see that before net price we have given this all these uh, prices discounts everything okay here net price is there according to the sequence what we have given in the system the step numbers and all system will give see now I have given 10 percentage discount okay after 8000 net price has become 7200 now surcharges 5 percentage I have given okay this 5% is uncalculated on 8000 and we got 400 that's why net price is 7600 now my freight is 20 percent is then I will add this 1520 now finally our value is this one whatever the price we have given 7600 and uh, plus the respect to price and all you will get the the remaining price what is available and all and this is which may be confusing for you the cash discount is a concept which comes from the payment terms uh, which will be applicable during invoice verification and all because uh, cash discount is, will be given by vendor or uh, it will be given like uh, if you pay within um, uh, 15 days I will give you 3 percentage discount if you pay within 30 days I will give you 1 percentage discount that kind of things which will be yeah. coming during invoice verification or payment okay that is a separate concept you can uh, for now you don't confuse that point that that is called SKTO uh, I have changed, changed that payment terms it, yeah, that comes from the payment terms actually now I made it blank because uh, you have to understand the pricing procedure first right uh, see this uh, yeah. price is 8000 and after 10% discount uh, 800 minus and surcharge is 400 we got the 7600 then uh, freight is 20% is then it has become 9120 9120 is the final price okay by that you can give lot of uh, conditions and even uh, I think the Priyanka has done like uh, she has removed all the pricing steps okay she kept only for her uh, knowledge gross price and uh, discount and some surcharges okay and uh, after that she has put some uh, freight percentage and some insurance percentage like that they, she has uh, how a real time uh, pricing procedure will contain right uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, price minus discount plus uh, what you call uh, price minus discount plus surcharges then uh, some freight and some uh, insurance charges okay and uh, finally the effective price yeah this very simple pricing procedure you don't use this all those things you delete uh, whatever you mm. can delete it huh? a very simple pricing procedure you just keep it I will just put this point then you will get more yeah, you, yeah I have already the points you highlighted in the calculation already yeah yeah I have already highlighted and if you still if you want to see like for example uh, first you keep the gross price hmm? and pb00 pbxx then keep some discounts okay 
discounts you can keep RA01, RA00, whatever you have like discount per quantity, discount percentage, discount absolute amount. You know the difference between these three, right? For example, per quantity means um, for each price, each 100 quantity, I will give you 10, 10 rupees discount like that. Percentage means, 2 percentage means if it is price is 1000 rupees, you will get 2 percentage means uh, whatever that uh, 20 or whatever it is. And uh, absolute amount means irrespective of the amount, irrespective of the quantity, directly you are giving 200 discount. That is absolute. Then keep some yeah. surcharges. No, surcharges are also positive. It may be some kind of thing. Then you will get the net price. Maybe tax will come in between. Uh, then you will have then you will give some fright. Fright we have three for fright, right? You keep that fright and then give some insurance charges and in uh, Mumbai and all there are some octra charges will be there. That's enough. Then you will you can give final price or actual price. It is very simple pricing procedure uh, which will give you uh, what you call complete wow you uh, to understand how does it behave and all those things. Hmm? And that uh, the tax net price will be there, and you will have the tax uh, NAVS we have it. That's a standard non-deductible tax. That you just keep it like that, hmm? uh, because if it is a tax is non-deductible, deductible. That all I explained in one more session. There we will get to understand. Then you will have uh, like net price, including tax. Okay, that's it. Tax. Yeah, you just uh, keep those things in your uh, pricing procedure. Everybody creates pricing procedure with this, then you will get completely understanding net price and final price. Okay, this net price including tax, mm -hmm. you will keep according to the standard how it was given. Whenever you get this non rateable tax, then only it will get the value. Otherwise, uh, both will be the same. Like here it is 100 means, here also it will be 100 only. Okay. This simple pricing procedure keep it with you. That's it. Uh, maximum pricing it will be available like that only. Uh, then you will get an uh, idea if you give discounts, if you give fright, how does it behave? No, you will get to know the complete clarity on that. Okay. See if you, when it comes to output, uh, what we configuration we do in the output determination um, comes to material management and purchasing then coming to messages okay uh, everything will be almost uh, the same way we, we follow when it comes to output and coming to message types okay define message types for purchase order and go here in this step what we do we take any the standard NUU and all you just copy and create your own okay after that uh, mail title and text we will maintain the English text uh, you just change it and rest all details for example when you go to the display or this program and routine and all you don't have to bother in current system because you have to understand how program this program routine everything will be taken care by a web consultant in the real time okay and uh, you just keep this default values for example if you keep with own application after creating the PO and after releasing the PO you have to go to ME9F and release the output if you keep fourth option, once PO is released, immediately that output will become green. Okay, and uh, here when it comes to this uh, processing routines and all, see for example for printout there is a program, routine, form. Okay, this PDF or smartphone, all these things will be uh, what you call given by a web consultant. Okay, that's why you don't have to much worry on that, but. Uh, you have to uh, take care about uh, what is configuration is correctly done or not and uh, for your English text uh, what kind of new purchase order printout the title is correctly given and um, and then if you see this fine tune control where we will activate uh, which fields are for example which output type is activated for two is for change and one is for create those things we check and obviously our main work will be maintain the output condition record in MN04 for example for NEU and uh, if you select document type purchasing organization that combination document type NB and purchasing organization 1000 and vendor agency 013 for example okay for this we will maintain the condition records medium is 
print print out and the data immediately or uh, one application is for example you select immediately then go to communication in communication we have to assign the uh, local printout and click this print immediately tick that's it if you maintain this condition records what will happen when you go to PO and uh, create PO with this data and uh, then go to header and go to this messages see whatever you have maintained just now the everything has come automatically NEU and printout and the communication method LP01 what we have assigned and uh, go to this further data here we have given the option for right it has come this is the what you have to understand that is more than sufficient and uh, the program and routine everything will be uh, assigned by ABAP consultant according to the new smartphone which we develop in the real-time system